All right, so I'm back, and I was just about ready to cover up my VIN number, and I pull it down, and you have all your Easter eggs here. So it's telling you how to get all your Easter eggs that have been released. It's release 17.17.4 .17 version 8.1. We'll go into release notes. This was an update I got on Saturday evening on the 6th of May. They added automatic emergency braking which you can disengage it temporarily. They increased autopilot speed limits to 90 miles for traffic aware cruise control and speed limits. Autopilot speed limits for greater flexibility and comfort. We've increased the speed limit for auto steer and traffic aware cruise control to 90 miles an hour. And off road is no longer restricted to 35 miles an hour. You can go up to five miles an hour faster than the detected speed limit uh, unless you've selected lower offset. If there's no speed limit detected then you have a maximum speed limit of 45 miles per hour. So if it doesn't know what speed limit you're at it's 45 miles an hour. Side collision warning enhancement. What they did here is it would detect a side collision but now it will actually move away from those objects. So this is if you're traveling between 30 and 85 miles an hour, it should prevent side collision. So if someone's not looking at the blind spot and they start coming over to your lane, your Tesla should react. They also did auto high beams. You can control that in your controls panel and previous release notes for parallel parking, summon, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I came here for, was to show you the new updates, but that, that is cool. So if you did not know that, you do now. So there's all your Easter eggs, easily accessible. I will hit the Christmas music show again. I will probably do it away from my house. Here goes nothing. Well, it looks like they've restricted it. It shows you on the screen, but you can't hit it until probably Christmas time. That's a bummer. All right, so it's been a while. I just received my updates. Let's go driving. Let's check out the new updates. Let's see how it handles. And um, yeah, I'll record it and see what happens. Welcome back. It's doing pretty good. I'm sure it will not recognize the stop sign, which I will take control to stop at the stop sign. Picks up the lines, goes again. Okay, so now it's following the curb, not the line. Oh, it's following the the stripe and the curb. So it's a little close to that curb. Nope. Nope. I am not turning left. So one thing I really like is the hill assist brake. So you come to a stop like this, you're on a hill. You don't have to have your foot on the brake. It's really nice. Alright, let's go.
I'm sure it will not pick up that stoplight. So we'll just take control again. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right. We'll let it. We'll we'll let it take control. That was fun. Not bad. A little hiccup. All right, let's see. Not bad. It will probably take me the direction I do not want to go. So we'll just take over for a second. All right, let's see if it merges. So this is an area that I've traveled quite frequently with autopilot and I know pretty much how it reacts to the road and we'll just kind of see how, how it does just with the new update and um, see if it has any hiccups with any of these signs or power lines that it has in the past. It's doing pretty good so far. Going a little slow. Let me turn. Hey, that was a smooth lane change. I, I did notice before I had some pretty jerky lane changes. So let's, I will change lanes again a couple times just to, just to see what, what the lane changes, if, if it has actually changed how it changes the lanes. Huh. If, if they've updated, you know, how smooth the lane changes are. So let's, let's kind of experiment with that a couple times on this road. That is a super ugly car, whatever that is. I'm gonna change lanes, just because. That was smooth again, so that's number two for two, so it's two for two with no jerkiness. All right, down to 77. Time to change lanes. Three for three. Quite impressive. So that's three for three. Very smooth lane changes. Very well done. It used to be very jerky. It would get halfway into the lane and then jerk over to the left. All right, let's try four. Four for four. People probably thought I was an erratic driver before when I would use the auto steer to change lanes. It was, it was not smooth at all. All right, let's try it. Five for five. Got quite a bit of merging traffic, so let's see how it does here. I'm gonna let this guy in. It does not see a signal, so let's see how it does in this construction zone. It's never had a problem in the past. Another nice
nice lane change. Okay, it's following. Let's see how it slows down. Will it change lanes? No, it will not. All right, let's see what it does. All right, well, whoa. Okay, pretty sensitive. All right, I will probably have to take control again here because it won't know where I want to go. Let's try that. Oh, it actually was showing that it was following the truck, which I've never seen that before. Nope, it does not recognize the barriers. Nope. Still has a little ways to go. A little close to that line there. So it, it, it's thinking this lane is super, super narrow for some reason, but it's 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 taking the the line stripe down the road as a line marker which it, it does that occasionally. But there it was kind of detrimental to driving. We'll try that. See what happens. Nope, it did not work. Really wasn't expecting it to. See how it does here? Nope. Did not like that. Must have saw the uh, cones. All right, I'm game. Let's try it. Nice smooth transition yet again haven't had one jerky transition yet. D slowed down a little bit. Didn't really know what to do. Bad. That was a pretty tight corner, tighter than you normally see going 75 miles an hour. A little bit of a jerk, but that is way smoother than what I've seen before. A lot smoother than what I've seen before.
nope, didn't like that. there. That was not good. Wow. Pretty good. Not bad.